Hi everyone. No, this is not a compass box whiskey review, but this is. Sorry, I borrowed your t-shirt, John. Uh, but this is to to prove my point that this, considering the price, the age, the ABV, is not a luxury whiskey. Right. <laughs> so. Anok, 24 years old, is one of the whiskies I've awarded recently uh, in my Whiskey of the Year 2020 video with a hefty 92 out of 100, uh, which is in the Excellency category. And uh, I'm not going to be long in the description of the distillery. Uh, as usual, you will find more details in the descriptions under the, under the video because I'm going to do a comparison uh, with two other whiskies right still just a few things for you guys uh, nokdu means the dark hill nokdu is the name of the distillery they had to change because it resembles a bit too much to nokando distillery which means the small dark hill so i will take the explanation here uh, the distillery established in uh, 1893 even here it said 19 1894 uh it is like they say yeah the it's gaelic, gaelic. Uh, so it's uh, established uh, under the mysterious knock hill uh the single malt produced by the knock due distillery is not named after the distillery it's proudly named after a knock which provide the source of the pure crystal water etc that's an essential element of the anok single malt it is uh, non-chill filtered, non-colored, and uh, it is made uh, with a mix of ex-bourbon and ex-sherry casks. As you can see, there's nothing artificial there. So we can reasonably think that the proportion of the sherry casks can be high in this. Uh, and maybe the proportion of first fill uh, cask as well though the sherry I have to say and it's one of the strength of this whiskey doesn't overpower the uh, the other cask type the, the bourbon so the distillery is located really close it's a highland whiskey but it's very close as you can see here to be inside it's on on the limit to be in, very close to be inside of uh, the space side territory so you see it's just right there it's not far from the Keith County uh, and uh, town and uh, we're gonna see uh, how it is not so far also stylistically wise from other whiskies from this area right so uh, what else can I say it was a made uh, for Hague to provide um, things for the blend um, and of course it's again a, a DCL uh, distillery company limited uh, um, distillery what can we else say quickly um, not gonna go into the technical the part of it, it it's a 2 million liters uh, capacity of production distillery and for hundred thousand liters per year are devoted to make pitted whiskey uh, which are pitted around 45 ppm so it's quite heavy um, but some are a bit less also uh, the most famous of course is the 12 years old so, yeah uh, I can just I, I like this old guide when one of my earlier and uh, she's not now between us Ellen Hart author so uh, I have to yeah to pay a bit of tribute you can see there the people from the distillery when it was called Nogdu which is quite nice a drawing there kind of drawing or engraving not sure and a view of the distillery there Right, and the old label of the Anok 12, which is fun. Okay, enough of this. Um, so what's interesting there, uh, 
it's that you have a typical Highland style whiskey. Um, let me put the bottle here so you can see from close. So uh, packaging wise, this is very, really very, uh, can I put it, very sober. This doesn't cost a lot of money. It's basically uh, white on, uh, on a kind of uh, bluish green or, or greyish blue. <laughs> Uh, a label uh, back label is very sober as well just a few uh, information of marketing or uh, tasting notes mostly um, I'm not gonna read them because I don't want inf this influence my tasting so basically uh, it's one of the best 24 years old around uh, still for now and one of the best values uh, you can find it in continental Europe around 100 or 110 in the most uh, interesting uh, countries price wise that's often what we call here Benelux so Belgium Netherlands Luxembourg and Germany we can add Germany to this uh, thanks to Frank Pithead for this uh, for helping me get this bottle by the way uh, I only have one I know some people are stocking it because they're afraid of the rebranding uh, recently uh, they rebranded Old Pulteney and uh, Ball Blair I'm the same owner uh, so Thai Beverage, Thai Beverage and, and Co if I'm not mistaken exactly PLC Thai beverage PLC from Thailand, which uh, took over the Inver House Distillers Group that had it for uh, a long time uh, after DCL, um, and uh, when the, the the parent company rebranded it a few years ago, rebranded a few years ago, Ball Blair, uh, they 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 put. Uh, quite hefty price on then 25 years old or well, you're gonna see that another bell blair here uh, is was way less expensive than that and competing price wise with this one so if you have the occasion before I even start the, re the review if you have the occasion and you like whiskey and you have a eclectic and wide open mind to try whiskey and you can afford it you can also group with other people maybe to, to get yourself a, a half or a third or fourth of the bottle I think it's really worth it and uh, one of the people who highlighted it in his channel was Roy from Aquavite so I choose to top my 24 with his coin while other uh, very nice whiskies are topped here with a very old new drum drinker coin which is kind of collector and they have this whiskey 24 years old as a space side with uh, a sample of it in their collection i send them more recent one for my last but not least whiskey comparison which i'll explain later on um, have I showed you now? I know I, I don't remember. Have I showed you the the map because it's a second take? Apologies if the, if it's a second take. So there is the distillery. Um, why all these bottles here? It's because uh, I'm gonna explain a bit the uh, my thoughts. Uh, so this is uh, at the limit of being. Um, a space side whiskies and not very far from it we have another characterful single malt uh, which is Altmore and the 18 I don't have a 21 travel retail or, or other older expressions the 25 is very nice uh, but it's not the same profile as this it's much more sherried so it doesn't really match with this one uh, even if I had it on board I won't show it the comparison but rather this one um, now of course if we if we stay a bit in the same uh, Keith let's say uh, area Keith County uh, 
we have obviously Glen Keith. It's an independent version, but Glen Keith who shares uh, the 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 herbal, grassy, um, a bit spicy style, a bit with uh, a knock, uh, knock do. Um, of course, I could have put in comparison the All Paltney 21. Uh, this one is also discontinued and also highly recommended here. Um, and value-wise, this one is beaten. Value-wise, this is to be taken with a pinch of salt because for 100 euros, the least you can pay for it, but most probably 140 or 45, like here in France. That's why I had it from abroad because I, even with the shipping, I save 30 uh, to 40 euros, uh, a bit less. So why the change? Uh, this is not to distillery, but why they change? It's because they didn't want to be confused with Nokando. And this is uh, by far, uh, any brand wise, uh, the most, uh, the least expensive 21 years old and over 18 years old whiskey in the world. In the world, well, let's talk only about Scotland. Uh, official release. Of course, we have Lidl, Aldi, they're pulling you off 20, 30, 40 years old, or I don't know for uh, less and less money, but it's undisclosed. But this, and I have tried other uh, vintages of this, this is quite old, this is an 86 um, vintage, so probably 97 or so bottling. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, no, uh, 2007, something like that. I uh, still haven't opened it yet. And this is coming with this, with two Glencairns at seven, I had it 56 <laughs> around 10 years ago, but now it's still around 70 euros, so it's quite crazy price. Uh, now I can show it to you in the correct um, way. So yeah, we're gonna try this and we're gonna try also, this is not a high, Highlands, I mean, strictly not, but geographically, yes, of course, all space siders are Highlands. Glengarry from Caden Head Butler, uh, 24 years old, uh, all bourbon this and 47.8% ABV. And of course, it was too tempting not uh, to, uh, to try uh, to, to try this 26 years old uh, 91 vintage discontinued now but you still can find it uh, Bal Blair at 46 percent so there you have these three I'm not sure you can see them because of this um, well let's remove it so yeah there you have have it, the Bal Blair and the Glengarry. So I'm going to nose the, the, the Anok first and then uh, nose the others and then uh, give you my impressions and then give you my notes uh, on the palette and a bit of uh, conclusion, maybe uh, uh, some water as well. So we are here, let's uncap these now. We are here in, in uh, complexity territory, we are here in subtlety. Why this uh, single multi and NOC 24 is so popular? It's because it's a complex and subtle whiskey. It takes time to be assessed properly. Of course, not in a video, but uh, I've tried it before uh, uh, on uh, several occasions before having a bottle of it. I tried it three, four times now, three times probably. Um, and I thought it was the, the good uh, moment to, uh, to give you a, a bit of a review of it. Let's jump on the nose. And here's the color, by the way. It's really a very nice color. If an, if there's an unfocus 
often of the camera on on this yeah strikingly some uh, it's it's a mixed bouquet already it's not just one or two or three notes so a lot of things going on from citrus fruit from tiny red fruit from some spices some uh, wild herbs and some flowers as well a bit heady but very uh, contained there's some honey right there as well really wonderful very charming this this is really an accomplished whiskey i tried at 35 years old i tried all the ones but they were very nice but this one stands out and also it's still affordable approachable okay i know not for everyone but okay so oh yeah 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 i forgot to mention the tea some earl grey tea and uh black tea a bit and also maybe some green tea but everything is super balanced that that's the main point here now I'm gonna nose this 24 years old kitten head. So immediately you have the vanilla coming on, uh, a bit of spices. Obviously, this one is more bourbon driven, but a lovely uh, beast, a bit angelica. Slight of yeast though, though it's an old whiskey. Oh, some lovely uh, complex fruit notes and background as well. Tiny, tiny red fruit, but it's mostly citrus fruit combo, kind of sherbetty. Okay. Now on to Bal Blair 91. So this is not a so so, so this is quite a, a, a pleasant cast here and a pleasant video to make. Okay, so this one is complex as well. It is a bit closer to the profile of the Anok, I have to say, than the, the Glengarry. Oh, so much complexity this one was awarded whiskey of the year at a, i don't remember 95 or 96 it's it's a higher uh rate than this one it is more complex uh i have to say to be honest but it was not the same price uh, of oh, and also i have it for free i won it in in a contest uh kind of lottery uh, by chance um, on Master of Malt, uh, I was raving to buy it for a long time. In France, it was 165 euros, while in UK it was 130 pounds. So, kind of a scandal here with the, the I won't say who margin, famous shop. Not good, guys. Uh, but finally, the good thing is I had it for free, so I'm super happy. It's the only one I have. Uh, but I'm super happy to to have this bottle. Super complex, fruity, uh, herb, uh, green, uh, floral, uh, a bit of oak, not too much, a bit of spice, everything you want, except peat. Beautiful, beautiful whiskey. Okay, I'm gonna go now on the palette of this one and maybe show it again so you know it's a uh, an anok 24 review okay sanjeeva oh it's quite punchy and spicy uh. On the palette i have to say first wave is sweetness flowers delicate fruit orchid fruit and uh, others and then comes the um, spicy 
kind of ginger mustardy um, not really chili pepper it, it's it's still sweet but um, got a bit of zing a bit of sting of, uh, of the spices um, and the herbal side the tea uh, tea side as well mostly on Earl Grey I will say not only but it's it's the main uh, tea note the honey is also wrapping this around discreetly the kind of uh, all flowers honey miel toute fleur as we say here in France just a second one and then I will go back to the others yeah it seems simple, but when you dig a bit, you chew it, and you see all the complexity of this beautiful whiskey. Okay. Now I'm gonna try in comparison. I already know it's not super re relevant, but it's the only 24, if I'm not mistaken, I have on board. And that's not from a remote area. Yeah, there's this beautiful note that I don't often find in the official versions. Um, I think it's in the 12, which finally I found it interesting. Um, it's a kind of a sugary pastry note wrapped with sherry. there it's more discreet because it's the bourbon but it's a distillery character a kind of a hard to explain the mix with the oak and the fruit it gives almost a rancho notes let we say for the wines uh, sweet wines and the, the also cognac and armagnac so it's a sign of old maturation damp maturation or as well in warehouses dunnage Mm. Yeah, it's delicious. It has a bit of pit on the background. Well, this is a different whiskey. I have to say. It shares with the Anok the elegance, the finesse, the complexity. So it's not totally relevant to compare them. The same age, okay almost the same ABV for its 7.8 I think both are really unfortunately this is a 2014 uh, small batch um, of uh, oh my god 390 bottles is, so uh, maybe too late to find it but it's really recommended okay now on to this beauty of a whiskey. Again, Paul Blair, 91, 26 years old. Uh, bottle in 2018, third release, and both share natural color and non-chill filtered process. So sweet filtration not at minus zero degree slight parenthesis you can sweet filter at plus four plus six something like that when you don't go under zero you will remove much less fat oils and congeners from your whiskey so i like the sweet filtration much more than the the chill filtration uh, and i've seen the process in the cognac distillery that does the same uh, so sweet filtration and the result is really amazing so it's a complex question i will go back at some point again okay i said on the nose super complex super charming super elegant
I don't want to even describe. <laughs> Sorry. There is something in common, like many Highlanders, quite a character. It's a structural whiskey for a blend, for instance, uh, like Clan Leash, like um, Bal Blair, uh, Anok as well. So enough spices and, and character and fruit, floral and uh, gentle oak to sustain other whiskies in the mix of a blend and that's very interesting. But that, honestly, that Bal Blair 26 beats this uh, hands down. But it's a kind of continuity of this, but making it more complex, etc with only extra two years, but it's not necessarily the same mix of cask, and of course it's not the same distillery. Um, but to paraphrase my friend Jim, <laughs> if you liked this, <laughs> and you had this, you will like this. Okay, Jim, love you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna add a few drops of water in the uh, anok and in the others as well I'm start this time I'm starting with the Bal Blair uh, the uh, Glengarry because I really want to see the how those two the anok and the Bal Blair go goes uh, side to side so just a few drops in this but I know it's gonna be different hmm. interesting there's some notes as if it was sherry but it's not sherry it's amazing oh oh Anthony and Nikki you're in for a treat with this one let me tell you <laughs> Maybe we'll try it together soon. I will. Ha I will do. Um, by the way, I will do um, several ones. But there's two on my mind. Will happen maybe before others. Uh, for the English audience, is uh, one with a new drum drinker. I send them uh, some uh, samples. Some are blind, some are not, uh, and also to uh, Frederick Whiskey Pilgrim, which is now in, the, in his new channel, A Drum Divided with Emil. But we'll do the live on the channel to celebrate the new start very soon, uh, as soon as he's, he gets my samples, <laughs> by the way. Okay, so very beautiful whiskey, very subtle, lots of uh, fruits, of gentle oak. Um, sweet spices, vanilla, delicious. Don't want to go more than a half an hour, so let's go the uh, knock with a few drops of water now. I'm not super precise on this one, on my notes I see. For some reason, I don't know how I'm not more precise on the notes than even on w the video now. But yeah, there's a combination of the oak that's tamed but still uh, discernible. The tiny red fruits on the background, the base, red base and stuff the slight citrus fruit slash ginger spicy fruity combo it come across strong at the, the finish also there's some vanilla background mind you of course less than in Glengarry and there's the honey there's also uh, some fresh grass so it, it's complex Highland whiskey as we love it. Just put it that way. Mm. Highly recommended, 92 out of 100. Top quality uh, value whiskey. 
I'm gonna finish with a few drops of water with this masterpiece and say have a great weekend it's like it had the best of those two the Glengarry and the Anok but multiplied by almost two but something like that such a masterpiece you can there's a more sherry influenced influence than on the anok but i wonder no it's a vintage so normally you in the vintage you don't put all the whiskies in the mix while in this one they could be a few casks of uh, or just a cask of uh, older whiskey than 24 years old mind you i don't know i don't have the answer i won't i won't even do the guess i don't think but you'll never know but this one my god it's absolutely stunning guys i hesitate to do a rundown a uh, video about bell blair because uh, everything I have now is outdated uh, related to what's in the, in the market so you might still find some of the vintages I have but it is not current uh, so is it really the point to do a ball blare uh, rundown if you cannot find those whiskies easily I don't know let me uh, let let me know in the comment if you want uh, from me please a uh, uh, balbler rundown including this one or if it's not relevant for you thank you i can't go back now to the unlock but um last word if you have the opportunity to grab one before it's rebranded i don't know when i don't know really it's just a strong guess it's not only me many youtubers in the know or people in the know or whiskey writers in the know on, on blogs and i know some they're really uh guessing this they're afraid of this so i'm not gonna it's not a fomo stuff or anything uh, but um, if you like this kind of profile i try to describe maybe not the best one to describe it have a look on the other reviewers uh, maybe i see if if, I, if there's still some room in the description I'll, I'll give you some links to other videos but uh, yeah for me it's 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 a beautiful whiskey and it's highly recommended see you soon cheers